Hey guys, my name is this is Cobra and welcome to Sue's where I teach you how to manipulate images in Python. In the last video we talked about how to rotate and scale images, so we were actually working on the image itself. However, in this video we're going to be drawing stuff onto images instead, so we're going to be drawing shapes, specifically lines, squares and circles. Of course, if you find the video helpful at any point, then make sure to hit the like button to let me know, and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future installments of the series. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. So we're getting into some of the more complicated stuff now. It's still not super hard, but it is certainly a little bit harder than rotating and scaling images. And as such, we have more imports this time. So we could do from pill, uh, import image and image draw. And this uh, image draw kind of works as a drawing context. That'll make more sense once I actually show it off. Um, but essentially, we don't really draw onto the image itself. We draw onto a separate image that's been subclassed to have drawing capabilities. I guess it's a somewhat weird way of doing it, but again, it'll make more sense once I actually uh, talk about it a bit more. So we come down here, we get rid of that, and we do uh, if name equals main once again, our old friend. And then our other old friend with uh, just adjusting my microphone, image dot open uh, dot slash images slash. And we're going to use the blossom one this time, I think, because uh, I I think that's probably the easiest one to detect changes on uh, as im. And then uh, we can do, right, we'll have our im dot save. Actually, we won't have that for now. We'll leave that as is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be drawing a cross onto the image. So we're going to be doing it from the top left to the bottom right and from the top right to the bottom left. Uh, just to kind of demonstrate how lines work really beyond anything. So we're going to do add cross and then we're going to call it add cross 2 because I, I don't know, I just like to name my function names in such a way that you don't need like comments. So and it's, it's easy to read off the bat. So I'm going to put him in there and we're going to have color and that will be, um, and yes, I'm British. That is correct for me. Shut up. Uh, this is a tuple. We're not going to have a default in here. You can put a default if you want, something like uh, zero, 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 if you want it black, but uh, I'm not going to bother putting a default in there. So what we can do is you can do draw equals image draw dot draw im. Essentially, it is the same as our image, except we can draw on it. I'm not really sure how else to describe it. I know I keep explaining it the same way, but it just makes sense. Um, so to draw a line from the top left to the bottom right, we do draw the line uh, zero zero <clears throat> plus im dot size and then fill equals color. Again, our tuple. So what's going on here is we have uh, a bit of tuple addition here, which is actually something I learned of really recently, like maybe a month ago or something like that. Uh, essentially what this does is it is it adds the image size to the tuple. So currently this is a two element tuple and this adds another tuple onto it and it becomes a four element tuple. Believe it or not, I went all this time without knowing that was a thing. Um, fantastic. And then we can return, we can return im, not draw. Uh, oh, actually, we need to draw another line first. So draw.line, uh, this one's a bit more arduous. So zero, uh, not base, image. I keep writing base because it's base in my plan. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, im dot size zero. And then a uh, zero. And then we do fill equals color again. So these four elements of the tuple here are our coordinates for the line. The first two are the coordinates for the starting point. So zero across the x axis and the size of, or the height of the image on the y axis. So it's the bottom left. And here we have the size of the image on the x axis. So all the way over to the right. And then zero height, so it's now at the top. So it's going, <laughs> indicating as though you could actually see what I'm doing. It's going from the bottom left to the top right, and this one here is going from the, the top left to the bottom right. And then we return im, not draw, because the draw is actually drawing stuff onto the image. And then we return the image. Again, I it's such a weird way of doing it. I don't quite know the mechanics of it, but it does work. And that's all that matters. Um, at least it makes some sort of sense. So what we can do is um, im cross equals uh, add cross to im, and then we're gonna make it uh, black. Actually, one thing you can do is one thing I'm gonna do. Is you can pass in the width keyword argument, and this changes the line width. So I'm gonna do it as ten, just so the lines are actually somewhat visible. And then we could do im 
cross dot save dot slash saved uh, images slash uh, blossom with cross dot jpg. And once we run that, so we go in here, Python tutorial three, we're in shapes, it draws the shape and we get something in our saved images. Blossom with cross is the one. And as you can see, uh, I'll zoom in a bit just in case you can't. Uh, you'll see that we have this um, cross, oh God, scrolling of VS Code images is so awkward. We have this cross coming down here. This is not a telephone wire. This is the cross that we uh, created. And it, it comes across in the middle and then we have the two lines and it, it's all well and good. If we did want to change the color, so say we had one that was, um, oh, we're actually passing both it. Okay, that's fine. But what if we wanted a red one? Then we can do this. And then we come in here and the cross is red. That's probably a slightly more obvious example. There's a cross there. So that is the basics of drawing lines. So if you ever need to draw a line across something, uh, this is what you would do. Uh, just remember that it's four element tuples. It's not separate tuples for the different coordinates. It's all just one huge thing. Um, I guess it's a line vector in a way. I don't know the, the proper terminology for it. Uh, but the next thing we're going to do is draw some squares and rectangles. So drawing squares is a bit weird, and I'll show you why in a second. We're going to draw a rectangle first, because there is a built-in for it. Uh, so we're going to do add uh, rectangle to, um, and then uh, what is it? top left, bottom right, and then color. So essentially what we're passing in here is the image and the color, same as always. Have We are actually specifically passing the top left coordinate and the bottom right coordinate. Uh, with that information, Pillow can work the rest out. So the function is actually even simpler. So image draw dot draw im, and then draw dot rectangle. And we pass in a tuple with the top left and the bottom right. So this is a tuple of two tuples because each uh, the top left and the bottom right are both tuples. Uh, fill equals color. I suppose you could probably do it as a list. I guess it wouldn't matter either way. And then you can have im rectangle equals add rectangle to im. And then we pass in, so say, I don't know, 50 and 50. And then 300 and 145. And then the color can be, we'll, we'll just have this as black, I think. And then we'll have it as green. Uh, that should make it a bit more obvious. And then im underscore rectangle dot save. Uh, dot slash saved. I really regret calling the directory that, but whatever. Uh, blossom with rectangle dot jpg. And then if we go and run the code again, we get an error. None type object is no attribute save. Oh, because we don't return the thing out. We need to return the im. Always remember to return the thing out. And there we go. So we have well, blossom with rectangle. There we go. Oh, we have the cross as well, but it's, it's actually quite a small little rectangle up here. <laughs> I was expected to be a bit bigger than that, but as you can see, there's a rectangle here. You know what, I'll make it a bit bigger, actually. Uh, so the the image, how... I suppose the image... Oh, yeah, the image is colossal, so we can probably get away with making this... I don't know. Uh, 1,250 by 750. Sure, why not? And this is going to be huge. We might need to... Yeah, we might need to make that a bit smaller to fit the other things on. We'll say 750, 300. There we go. How does that look? That's fine. Yeah, we just got to get other images on here as well. So <laughs> just conscious of the space. So next thing I'm going to do is a square. Uh, you could, in theory, just have a uh, a rectangle here and you could you can pass in square coordinates. However, if you wanted to have a specific method for a square where you just specify the size, then uh, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Because why not? So im uh, position, whoops, position, size, and then color. I'm just showing you an alternative method for it, I suppose. So the it's the same two lines of code for the most part. Uh, draw dot rectangle, and then in here. Uh, I'm going to do fill equals color now while it's still on the screen. But in here we have the uh, the position. Um, so this is the top left position. So maybe I should specify the top left actually. Uh, top left. Or I'm just position. And in our second tuple, because this is a tuple in itself, we have to specify the uh, the bottom right. So what we can easily do is we could just do 
top left um, zero, so the the x coordinate uh, plus size, and then a uh, top nope, uh, it'd be top left again, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, one uh, plus size. So it, this looks a bit weird, but this is a tuple in itself. We pass a tuple in, and then we're constructing another tuple using the top left and the size here. If we return uh, m, and this essentially just, uh, I'm going to separate these a bit, uh, just guarantees that we get a square out of it and we don't mess it up. So add square to image. So we want to put it, I want to put 675 to 890, why not? And then it would be, I don't know, 240 uh, pixels big. So 240 pixels across, 240 pixels down. And then we're going to make it blue. Uh, so we'll have the 255 there. And then we can simply just, I'm going to start copy pasting this. <laughs> because it's not worth it uh, with square. It's not worth typing out every single time. Uh, so focus the terminal, run the thing again. Module object is not callable because I didn't do object.draw. That's why. Always remember to do that. And we have our blossom with square. As you can see, we just have a square uh, sitting all the way down here. And as you can see, it is a it's a perfect square. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but we're not quite done yet. We still have some stuff to go. So we still have circles and that. Uh, so again, there are two ways of doing this. There is the uh, def draw ellipse which takes an M, it's pretty much the same code actually, so we can copy paste this one. And pretty much just rename this to ellipse, and I think that would be fine, actually. And then for the, the circle, we could just copy the square one, and then change this to circle, and this to ellipse, and I'm just going to check my notes to make sure that it just would be fine. It looks as though it will be. Um, so yeah, the ellipse and circle use the same method, but where you define the top left, it's a bit weird with circles because of course the top left isn't actually drawn, but if you uh, say if, if you draw a line that intersects the very top pixel of the square, and then draw a line that intersects the, the very left of the square, where they meet will be the top left um, corner. So we come down here, and then we create two more. So image, um, we'll have a ellipse first. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll just take the same copy uh, paste methodology and just apply it here. Hey <laughs> hey. Uh, so ellipse like that. Delightfully devilish Seymour. That's the quote I was thinking. I was trying to think of that. Got the timing a bit wrong there, but we'll. <laughs> We'll work with it. So we'll move this. We'll move this to say 985 and then 1024. Now 1025 will keep we'll keep it even for people. Uh, well not even, but to the fives. And then we'll have it 620 by 400. And then sure we'll just have it the same colours. I can't be able to change those. And then we'll have this one like way off to the side. So two one uh, 2145 to 1425, we'll see if that's off the level, not the level of the picture, we'll have a size of, we'll have a big one, 300, and we'll have it in that. And then once again, just uh, the copy-paste methodology. Uh, come on Linux, there we go, uh, image ellipse, There's some sort of weird like ghosting issue. A control, if you hit shift control something on Windows, it will take a control shift, but on Linux it doesn't do that, it's very odd. I don't quite know why. Uh, it's not a problem with the keyboard, because it works on Linux, so... What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> there we go. And now if we do this, hopefully we won't get an error, there we go. Uh, I don't know why I've actually saved two images there, but we want the one with a circle, which is this one. As you can see we now have our... oh, where's our ellipse? Our ellipse doesn't appear to have uh, appeared. Have I put them in the same place? No. Or is the as the as the ellipse just too far? The ellipse might be too far off. Oh look, there's the circles there. Uh, 
Uh, hmm, that's very strange. That's very strange indeed. That is very strange, actually. All right, let me try and diagnose what's gone wrong and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I fixed the error. Um, in my infinite wisdom, I accidentally gave the ellipse both a negative width and a negative height. <laughs> so it just didn't appear. So if I show the code real quick, you'll see that I have actually reorganized the code a bit, uh, just to make it a bit neater, a bit easier to understand. Um, but the coordinates here I gave were just invalid. Um, I'm not gonna bother adding error handling because the video is a bit long already. But essentially, um, I believe the height was like negative 200 and it didn't like that. Um, it wasn't erroring, I'm su kind of surprised it didn't error, but it just didn't show up at all. So yeah, uh, that was just me being a bit of a papaga. But uh, hopefully you won't make the same mistake. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about with uh, drawing shapes. If you have any questions, don't be scared to leave a comment or ask in the Discord server, which you can find in the description below. But yeah, with that, I'd like to thank my super patron Darky and all of my other patrons for being as awesome as they are. And I'll see you next time when we start drawing text.